What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. We are about halfway through January and I really hope that you have taken advantage of my messages and I really hope that you have looked into my flu shield protocol. I'll put a link in the description box below for those of you who have not watched it already but I think that it's cheap affordable health insurance. I mean I got a giant thing of vitamin C the other day for uh, I think it was like $11 for 500 tablets so again if you don't know what I'm talking about you got to watch that first video about my flu shield it consists of ascorbic acid or whole foods vitamin C it consists of a weekly dose of zinc sometimes twice weekly and it consists ladies and gentlemen of vitamin D so ascorbic acid, which is synthetic vitamin C, some people have an aversion to that because they'd rather take whole foods vitamin C. They'd rather get their vitamin C from food. And if that's the case, you can do it. You can get it from acerola cherries. You can get it from kaduku plum, kadaku plum. I think that's how you pronounce that. I think kaduku plum or kadaku plum, however you pronounce it, is the highest vitamin C food in the world currently, at least. At least that's what they're telling us. You know, there's some crazy stuff out there that they won't tell us about plants and healing medicines, you name it. But uh, acerola cherry, uh, camu camu, the plum I just mentioned, lunabug, amalaki Indian gooseberry, also known as amla or alma. I think it's called amla. So they make a mixture, whole foods vitamin C mixture that you can consume. I personally like uh, ascorbic acid I have good results with it my body reacts to it well and it's a good um, it's a good digestive cleanser and I find that it works just fine now, certain vitamins things like zinc which is a mineral they can antagonize other minerals so for instance if you take too much zinc you can mess with your copper etc etc you need to look at a uh, what's known as a mineral wheel but my theory is, at least, and I kind of go off of some of the research of Abram Hoffer and people like Linus Pauling, etc. People who are big fans of orthomolecular medicine, people like uh, Andrew Saul, I believe his name is. As long as you're eating a nutritionally stable diet, as long as you're getting a lot of really mineral-dense, nutrient-dense foods, you don't have to worry so much about the effects of vitamins depleting you of other things. I hope that makes sense. Now obviously you should be careful, but taking ascorbic acid, also known as supplemental vitamin C, in structured regimented ways like for my flu shield protocol, in my opinion that's going to do a hell of a lot more benefit for you by taking it than just not taking vitamin C because oh it's synthetic or this that and the other. I mean come on. Vitamin C is really good for your skin. Ascorbic acid has a handful of skin benefits. And just because it's a synthetic doesn't mean it doesn't have merit. I mean, again, look at look into orthomolecular medicine. Look at what Dr. Abram Hoffer was doing with high-dose niacin on his schizophrenic patients and people with bipolar disorder and ADHD. I mean, some of the... the that was groundbreaking research. That was groundbreaking research psychiatry and medicine, what that man was doing. Abram Hoffer is a total pioneer and was way ahead of his time. And what a beautiful mind. And I believe he lived to be 94 and he took a handful of synthetic vitamins on a daily basis. He took vitamin E. He took, uh, I think he took NAC, N-acetylcysteine. He took um, magnesium, vitamin D, coenzyme Q10, vitamin A, um, Niacin, which was his favorite. Vi niacin is just vi uh, vitamin B3. And he was a big fan of not only niacin, the flushing form, but niacinamide as well, which is a non-flushing form. But I believe niacinamide doesn't have the cholesterol benefits, the cholesterol lowering benefits that niacin does. I prefer niacin. Niacinamide, I don't really like buying niacinamide because of how many counterfeit products there are on the market in regards to, suppl to supplements. And if you buy niacin powder, the non-flush form, 
If you know what you're doing, you can take a high enough dose to feel a flush and see if it's actually real niacin or not. So I'm not recommending that you do that. I'm just saying that I prefer niacin. Niacin, the flushing form, has the most benefits across the board. There's a handful of different forms of niacin, but again, synthetic vitamins are remarkably incredible. And people like Dr. Joel Wallach, people like Dr. Peter Glidden, they've done some incredible stuff with these supplemental form, uh, vitamins. So. You know, there's people out there who only want to take whole foods, vitamins, whole foods, everything, and that's fine. If that's your thing, go for it. I personally am a huge fan of natural and the synthetics where they, when they are proven to work. Things like even aspirin. Aspirin has a handful of benefits to it for a handful of different things. It can even help people with anxiety, low-dose aspirin, salicylic acid. But, you know, you, you say things like that in the alternative health community and you just get chewed at or henpecked at by the people who think that, you know, living in Costa Rica and just eating bananas all day and, you know, people who live like that. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But I'm into the, I'm into the, the, the research and the work that actually works. And after looking into um, Dr. Abram Hoffer, after looking into Linus Pauling, after looking into Andrew Saul and so many of these, of these incredible people, like again, Dr. Joel Wallach, I'm here to tell you that synthetics not only work, but they save lives. So I'm a, I'm a fan of both, whatever works and whatever works well with the least amount of side effects and the most gain. Vitamins are incredible. Vitamin C is incredible, ascorbic acid. Vitamin D is incredible. Coenzyme Q10. I've seen do so many remarkable things for people. It's incredible. Now, would you rather get the benefits of coenzyme Q10 by taking a simple supplement that's $15? Or would you rather just not take it and not experience the benefits of this amazing antioxidant compound just because you have some weird hang up about synthetics? Come on, folks. Now, obviously, there are certain foods that are high in coenzyme Q10, certain internal organs, etc., are high in coenzyme Q10, but not everybody wants to eat that stuff. And taking a simple capsule is remarkably easy. I've seen coenzyme Q10 also do remarkable things for people who are getting off of statins. Statins lower your coenzyme Q10 level and are really, in my opinion, horrible for your brain. So, recovery, I've seen be accelerated drastically through synthetic vitamins in tandem with synthetic vitamins, amino acids, and minerals, excuse me, in tandem with uh, drastic nutritional changes and alterations. Again, my, my program, because I want to make it easy for everyone, is to just make 70% of your dietary intake whole foods. Eat 30% whatever you want and stop worrying. We have enough elevated stress hormone and stress in our physiology from all our worries and our money. Just make 70% of your diet Come from Whole Foods. Do your best to do that and just ride it out. Stop worrying about your weight. If you're overweight, who cares? I'm kind of overweight right now as well from uh, keeping my calories high and not cycling due to a knee injury. It's all good. It's all good. In fact, well, I'm not going to say that. We'll talk more about uh, exercise and a few things in the, in the near future. I'm just going to wrap this one up. Check out my flu shield. Vitamin D, vitamin C, and, and zinc either once or twice a week. Uh, zinc, I prefer the Gero formulas, Gero formulas, excuse me, zinc L-methionine, um, as well as zinc gluconate, zinc bisglycinate. There's a handful of different uh, zinc products on the market that are legitimate. Um, you just got to be careful because you don't want to take too much zinc, and I see a lot, of, a lot of zinc overdosing right now, so keep it low dose once or twice a week maximum and you'll be good and for those of you who are interested in you know ways to get zinc into your diet there's plant forms of zinc and there's animal forms of zinc and you know you're gonna find the most zinc natural zinc bioavailable zinc from oysters and th certain internal organs we'll talk more about it in the near future i love you all and may peace be with you I wanted to personally thank you for watching my videos and contributing to the growth of my channel. I could not do this without you, and your interest in my content is truly what motivates me and fuels my passion for making these videos and spreading my message. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to remind you that this channel is a free educational tool that is listener supported, and if you would like to donate to my channel and donate to my cause, 
help make my life a little bit easier and help keep the lights on around here, you can do so by checking out the links in the description box below. There's a handful of not only ways to donate to my channel, but I also have links to different websites and different videos of mine, as well as my Amazon store, where you can check out a handful, a plethora of different health-related products that I use and recommend. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for your continued interest in my message and until next time, peace be with you all.